Hey everyone, how's it going? Welcome, welcome back to New Cities. I certainly hope you're having a fantastic day because I am certainly excited to be back in the fantastic city, soon to be city of Dorksville, because that's what I'm calling it. Today, we are gunning for 20,000 people because we are going to be unlocking a couple more things. The good news is the population is actually climbing quite quickly at the moment. I'm not 100% sure that it will get to 20,000 people before we have to go and zone more stuff or zone more things, zone more roads. That's the word I'm looking for. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead and we will do that ahead of time. We'll place some roads, we'll get them in here, and we'll hopefully get them uh, all zoned and uh, nice looking as quickly as we possibly can. So that's that one. We'll go over to this side and do exactly the same thing, but kind of in reverse just really quickly. And uh, again, hopefully this means we can uh, get that 20,000 people mark in here. We're at 18,000 already, so honestly, it's not going to be... It's not going to be that hard to do it. Just It really is just a waiting game at this point. Again, well, I said it in the first episode of this map, the previous episode of this series, I guess, is what I should say. I said it in that episode. I've done exactly the same thing that I do in City Skylines. I've zoned a whole bunch of space, and I'm just kind of waiting on the game, being like, hey, we have the people to move in there. So it's fine. It's, it's, it's not a big deal. Hey, we're about to hit 20,000 people anyway, which will unlock whatever it's going to unlock. I've completely forgotten what the 20,000 mark. Actually, it was City Hall, wasn't it? Which goes down here. So that's actually going to look really cool. I'm actually really excited again. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, I just I completely forgot what 20,000 people actually meant. But yeah, it gets a City Hall. And also, it's really cool seeing this area actually filling up. We could absolutely get more roads in there for sure, but... It's it's kind of cool seeing it uh, seeing it fill up. We could do more with that space, I think, to um, to make it a bit more dense. And we absolutely will. I'm thinking we'll put some roads kind of vertically in there. We'll not connect to these main avenues, but we'll put some sort of vertical uh, vertical zoning in those those middle sections. Is what we'll do. Anyway, we have twenty thousand people. We have a city hall at fifty thousand. We get something else. I didn't read what it said. I'm not gonna lie. Let's get city hall. Let's just let's throw it right out there. Because I think, I think, oh, do we put it on the inside of the road or the outside of the road? I'm leaning towards the outside of the road. I think the outside of the road would look really cool there. So let's do that. Let's do right there for City Hall. And then we can put a little police station out next to it, which might look really cool as well. Can I do like a little, hmm. Can I do a little road in the middle there? No, that's not, not really a thing I can do, is it? Um, hmm. Can I intersect those and then bulldoze you and then do, uh, not really. <laughs> I was trying to do something kind of creative there. I don't know what I was trying to do. Oh no! <laughs> I just got rid of City Hall. <laughs> Let's put that back. Uh, what does this even do? It enhances the area. We don't really have an area to enhance out here, but that's fine. <laughs> can't believe I just like, oh, here's the beautiful City Hall. And there it goes. That's... It's very me, isn't it? A very me thing to do. Um, so this space in here, what are we what are we gonna do with this? I'm thinking we're gonna I think we'll do this. We'll have this area be like one where all of the roads come off of the central part. Because I think that'll be kind of a, a good idea. Because this road out here is gonna lead towards City Hall. Um this one too, I guess. Uh this I'm not really sure what way to do this. I think we'll have this go out to there as well. And then maybe we'll do... We'll, we'll not bother going too crazy with the rest of it. This area here can be left relatively open, perhaps? Not 100% sure what we do with it. Maybe something like uh, maybe something like this could be an idea, so we can actually get some uh, commercial zoning into, into all of this space. So something a bit like that. We'll do some commercial into... Uh, into those middle parts. I think that'd be kind of cool. Uh, we could arguably kind of do this kind of thing with, uh, with residential in here too. So we'll do that. And that'll sort of help fill up all of that space once we start putting zoning in. But what are we looking at? We do have demand for a few things. We have some mixed use zoning demands. So what would that be? Mixed use, if I remember right, is uh, info. Does it... Um, 
I don't remember. I think mixed use is residential on top of shops, if I if I remember right. So honestly, let's try it. Let's throw some mixed use zoning into uh, into those spaces and just see what it does. I don't really expect it to grow, but I'm curious is is what I am. So we'll we'll throw it in there. We'll just see what what happens to it. We'll throw it into uh, into sort of all of these spaces. This can be our area for experimenting is what it can be. Then uh, these areas here going to be purely for commercial because I think that's probably fair right next to uh, City Hall. That can be commercial as well. And I think the areas on the inside of uh, all of this can be commercial too. So there we go. That whole space and maybe that bit too. Oh, wait. No, 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 no. Those bits are not supposed to be anything at all. There we go. So all of this down here can be commercial, but that's that's going to be such a busy area for uh, for traffic, isn't it? It's going to be absolutely crazy down there for traffic. I'm not sure this is uh, I'm not sure this is an amazing idea. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm a little... A little bit unsure all of a sudden is uh, is what I am, but we'll we'll see what happens. I guess is uh, is what we'll do. We will certainly certainly see. Let's just speed things up and see if any of this builds. Because we did have that little bit of demand for uh, for mixed zoning, but I I doubt it's actually going to build anytime soon. Although I guess we should probably also, I guess we could take this opportunity to get another. Another police station in here might not be a bad idea. Like right in the uh right in the middle of everything. So something like there, perhaps, for a police station. I think that would probably be really good coverage because it covers City Hall, it covers this whole new area, which is gonna have a lot of people living there and a lot of shops as well. So a police station there seems like a good bet. A library probably wouldn't hurt. We could maybe do like a library, say, there and there. A little bit of a weird space for them, but it will definitely boost education of anyone living in that area. And then, uh, oh wow, education coverage is is actually really good. I'm really happy with that. Okay, that's got me quite pleased. I'm, I'm not going to lie, I'm genuinely, genuinely quite pleased at that. So that's good. We are seeing some uh, commercial growth done here as well. So let's just go ahead and uh, we have got residential demand. Let's just... Let's go back and forth on these ones. Let's just kind of go back to our usual pattern of um, of roads here. And we'll go up to about there for it. We've also built a thousand roads already. That's... Wow, that was quick. That was that was actually really quick that we, uh, we got the thousand roads, but that's fine. We'll go ahead and just do back and forth like this. And I think that'll look really good. I really do. So we'll leave this space kind of open and we'll do just the same old thing. Just a bunch of commercial up this or residential, sorry, up the uh, up the sides here. And uh, I love I really do love the uh, the new zone placement tools. They're so good. They really, really are. There we go. So we'll speed that up. That should build really quickly because the demand is kind of crazy. What about the factories? Are they building yet? No, I wonder Oh, what is this? We've got the jail. Okay. Oh, by the way, uh, there is a planning thing. I haven't mentioned this yet, but I want to I want to show you this. Now, we can actually use this right now. If we go into planner mode here, we can say that, you know, we want a road here. We want a road, say, there. We want a road like that. And let's say we want a road like that. I haven't built any of them yet. Not a single one. But what I have done is I've planned them. So I can, uh, like, I, I can basically say click one button and build all of it at once. That's really cool. That, that is genuinely really, really cool. Uh, so let's go to this side and kind of just mirror what we've done there. Probably not amazing to have these, like, super long sections of road, but I'm desperate to try and keep this, like, horizontal layout we have. So complete. We have all of those built. Let's do the same old thing. Let's go for uh, just a bunch of, of residential in uh, in all of those spaces. Just same as we've been doing this entire time. Bunch of residential in, uh, in all of these spaces. Just uh, like so. And then we'll let it build. We'll get a bunch of people in here. I am confident we're hitting 50,000 people today. Absolutely confident we're doing that. Also, gonna go ahead and save my game and reload it. 
just in case that maybe fixes the thing with factories because there is demand for them they're just not building well that doesn't seem to have worked but that's okay we do have a grand opening we have a supermarket that's been built which is fantastic news because that means we have small parks so let's go ahead and start building some small parks we can build them right at the end of a bunch of cul-de-sacs which i think will be absolutely fantastic to do especially for this area up here by the uh by the city hall and just put a bunch of little parks in there just make it a really really nice place to be a really really nice neighborhood just make it super fancy basically uh we'll speed things up a little bit maybe see what that does for us hopefully that i think these do get rid of like a little bit yeah the nature gets rid of the pollution which is really cool so by that logic if i was to go in and say there and there and then say there and there and there and there what does that do for pollution right in the middle of the city it really really isolates it to that middle part that's really cool that's really cool i love that so i'm thinking then what we do is we get a park there and a park there and that should get rid of pollution like right in here as well it does that's i love that i love like the immediacy of it the kind of immediate effect that it has that's that's so cool it really is i really genuinely love that that is that is really really cool really really cool uh let's see then so crime is still kind of a problem we eh, so a jail is gonna get rid of value in an area i really don't want that education's also get, coming along a little bit which is nice um i don't i don't want to lose value in uh in an area that's that's the thing i want to try and avoid so hopefully that is something we can do also let me just let me test this if i put a fact bit of factory zoning there is it going to build it doesn't seem like it really wants to it i'm not i'm not 100 percent sure why but the factories just don't seem to want to to want to build if i put them out by like agricultural zoning would that does that is it going to build I have my doubts, to be honest. It doesn't really... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do about the factories. They they just don't want to seem to exist. The farms, on the other hand, look crazy. Like, absolutely nuts. Oh, and by the way, while we're zoomed out this far... Also interesting that the farms are bigger than the city right now. Uh, while we're zoomed out this far, this isn't the biggest map you can get in new cities. I discovered that when I was creating this one. This is a 75 by 75 tile map. You can go up to like, a, I think 150 by 150. So you can double the size of the map. It doesn't run very well on my PC though. And let me, my, like my PC is pretty good. I don't want to sit here and be like, yeah, my, my PC is beastly, but it kind of is. So it's oh, it's terrifying <laughs> it's terrifying the idea that uh it, it can't really run this in a full-size map that is uh that is just a terrifying sense of scale is is honestly what that is it really really is it's terrifying in a good way but terrifying nonetheless uh anyway let's go ahead and be really boring and just fill up all this space as well with the uh the same old sort of back and forth that we've been doing this entire time I, I know it's not super exciting, but what's exciting for me is the idea that this area might look really cool when it's uh, when it's all going high, dens high density and, and stuff like that. So while it's not super exciting to be building grids, it might be exciting in the in the near future. So let's just grab. Uh, actually, no, let's not grab you yet because we need to do zoning in there. And I think it is. It's just going to be residential, isn't it? It's just going to be residential the whole way through. And then maybe one day we'll start putting some other things in here. But right now it's going to be residential. And I think what we could also do is... Let me see here. Let me do... Huh. I don't know what would do this, actually. I'm really not sure. Because I want to... I, I think what we'll do is we'll get a small park, say, there and there. And we'll get a small park there and there. And we've just got the nature museum as well, which is really cool. Um, let's go there and there and there and there. So we'll sort of cram this space with parks. Just try and make it as pleasant as we possibly can. Then we'll go in with a blueprint. 
And then we'll just clone this across. So there, and then there, and there, and there. And it didn't clone, the, oh, it didn't clone the parks. Okay, so I need to do those again. That's fine. I I realize I don't need to do these at the end of, uh, of each of these roads. It's probably a bit excessive. But I'm really curious to see what they do long term for like, I mean, they're, they're, they're not too expensive either. Uh, but I'm really curious to see what they do like long term for these areas, basically. I, I'm, I'm just genuinely curious. I want to see if it boosts the, the value, if it boosts, you know, the happiness or it boosts the desirability or whatever. It, it could reduce crime. I don't know. I, I genuinely don't know uh, what way the game calculates anything. So this is kind of exciting to me. Uh, so that'll be kind of cool. That's just a bunch of, I don't know if I've missed anywhere in there. There's a bunch of parks, basically. So let's go ahead and just let that build up. I'm sure people will love it. I imagine the pollution in there is going to be like zero, which it should be with that many parks, to be fair. Um, and to be fair, the cities like generally do have a lot. They they try to have a lot of green space, I like to imagine. Also, my factories still aren't building. There is a lot of demand for, um, for farms, though, so we might need to expand those again. Uh, no factories, unfortunately, but that's neither here nor there. We did have a bit of demand for commercial, but there's still plenty of space for uh, commercial zoning to build, so we're not going to stress too much about that. I don't think it's uh, I don't think it's the end of the world if the, the commercial stuff doesn't build. Um, I do think let's let's speed things up so it's morning. I wanna I wanna change the way or the place the factories are. Um, so let's do. Let's do like a similar thing, right? We'll go, we'll go like this. Uh, we'll pause there because we can actually see the, the dots really nicely. Uh, so we'll do like this kind of thing. I want the factories on the water here. I don't know if that's the best thing to do, but I'm going to have them on the water there. Uh, we're going to bulldoze this road because thus far this road is just not, it's not doing anything for us. So we might as well just get rid of it. Uh, the factories aren't building, so we don't, we just don't need it, right? So, we have this. I think what I want to do is expand it a little bit further. So, up like that. And then expand you down like this. I doubt I can go out too far here. Uh, yeah, water line's probably going to be in the way there. So, that's all right. We're not going to stress too much about it. I think what I want to do, though, is... I want to go ahead... Hmm... Let me see. Let me let me let me see here. Um, you can continue up to there. You can continue up to there. Make that a square, and then bulldoze you. And then let's bulldoze that road for a second. Because what I'm thinking is, let's continue this diagonal up to there, and up to there, and then up to there, up to there, and then up to there. We can run an avenue straight across all of that. And then we could sort of just go through like this. So that'll give us a connection to the factories. Uh, we could do, let me see, from here, that can go to there. That can go to there. And that'll give us another connection to the factories. And then I guess we could... I hope I can do this. I'm not sure if it's going to let me. That might be... Yeah. So the water line is in the way again. That's unfortunate. I wonder if I could do like a little bridge though. That would be kind of cool. Unless I can just sort of gradually... Oh, I can just force it to, uh, to raise up. All right. Uh, so there we go. So that's kind of a similar thing. This is obviously asymmetrical at this point. I think, you know, you've probably noticed that. Um, but that's fine uh you need to come out to there and then you need to continue straight up as well so there we go so that's that adds a little bit of symmetry but obviously this part is kind of its own thing we could do that uh we could do we could do this and let's just try and get the factories in here i guess is is what we're gonna do we're gonna see if we can just get the factories to actually build so let me do a road here 
let me do a road here and let me do a road there. Let's go to zoning and let's just say factories just in that middle space. And does it build? Do they build? They they don't seem like they want to. I don't know why. <laughs> I really don't know why. They just don't want to exist, apparently. Uh, but we'll fill... What we'll do is we'll just like fill all of this space with, uh, with factory zoning. And we'll see if one day we come by that area and it actually has factories in it. I don't know if it ever will. I, that might even be further away than they were before, to be fair. So that might be why they don't want to build. They're like, man, I'm not driving out there to work. That ain't happening. Why would I do that? That's uh, that's entirely possibly the, the, the reason for it. Uh, we still don't have any mixed zoning. That has me a little annoyed. I'd love to see. I've never seen the mixed zoning in the game. I don't even know. It might not even be in the game, to be honest. I don't know what's in the game and what's not, so... There's there's that possibility for sure. But uh <laughs> I'll tell you what we'll do. Let's uh let's bulldoze you. And let's continue this road. That's not. Is that in a straight line? It isn't. Ooh. No 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 no. We're not doing that. We're not having a That that goes in a nice straight line is what that does. Or it does not exist. There we go. So that's probably a little better looking um that could continue straight up to there you could continue straight up to there maybe bulldoze you and bulldoze you and that's kind of interesting looking i guess we could probably get rid of those roads too yeah it's kind of interesting looking i guess we'll do something fun with that at some point uh that's for sure we could actually have those two roads probably meet in the middle but we'll not bother with that uh, how are we looking population-wise? 37, thir almost 38,000. That's not bad. Density-wise, uh, so pollution-wise, this area is perfect. Crime-wise, we're not doing amazingly. Education is pretty good. Prosperity is pretty good. Land value is really good over there. That's really cool to see. I'll tell you what we'll do then. Let me go in here. Let me do a little road and let's put the, where is it? Let's put the nature museum out here. So like right there, kind of similar to what we've done with, um, with the, uh, with the city hall. We'll have it like be right on the water. We'll surround it with something nice or just do something nice. To, I don't know what we're going to do too. I'm not going to lie. I just work. I'm kind of winging it. You know, it might be obvious, but I'm, I'm kind of winging things here. It's uh, it's very much not uh, none of this is really planned, you know. I, I don't want to spoil the mystery of my YouTube channel, but uh, things generally aren't scripted around here. So, uh, you know, just if I'm if I'm uh, breaking your heart by letting you in on that little trade secret, I am sorry. Uh, but uh, yeah, this is this is all very much just winging it. <laughs> just 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 so you know. Uh, anyway. Uh, still no factories, which is fair enough. Uh, I guess we just do more farms. I mean, we could, we could just keep doing farms. Uh, I think what I would like to do is I would like to do another big diagonal. Ooh, what do we just get? What if we just, we just got the university quad. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. We can build a university. I don't even, did we have a university in the, uh, in the in the first map that we did, I don't know if we did. We might have. I might just be, you know, uh, old age kicking in and forgetting. But I I don't remember for the life of me. That's cool though. We've got a university. All right, definitely not complaining there. Uh, let's start bringing some more roads out here for the farms. I love the. Uh, to be honest, I was a little skeptical about doing farms uh, on on grids like this at first, but having now done it, uh, you know. It ain't so bad. It works, I guess, is what I'm trying to say. You know, it's it's they're 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 working. You know, the farms are uh, are doing what they need to be doing. So there we go. We'll bring uh, we'll bring this over to about there, and we'll bring this over to about there. And that seems all right. I guess we expand uh, in this direction too. And uh, I I don't know if this is quite what the game meant when it said that you would cover the entire map and farms. I'm not going to lie. I mean, oh, I'm not on grid there, am I? Oh, dear. Why is that off grid? 
Why is that? Why is that not on the grid? That that road needs to go. <laughs> that's not. That's not. That's not on. No. 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 That's. No. 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 That's. That's not. That's not. That's not how we do things around here. I'm afraid. Road. That is not how that works. You are. You are not going. No. 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 You are. No. 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 That's not how that's working. Let's just extend you out to. Uh. Out to. Uh. There. And then you. Go like that. And that's better. That's what you want to see. You want to see a road that actually, you know, does what it's supposed to be doing. Not roads that get ideas about what they're going to be doing. Let's also extend this road up here, I guess. Just while we're at it. Because then we can expand farms into uh, into that space too. And I'm going to just sort of stagger them a little bit. So that it looks a little more... I don't want to say like free form, but you know... A little bit more interesting or something. Uh, I guess we could do... I guess we could stagger them a little bit here, too. Since they're going to be trying to go, you know, going around that lake. So we'll do like that. And I think that'll look good. We can just honestly go ahead and uh, do this. You know, it's, it's a lot of space. It's a lot of roads, is what it is. A lot of roads, but there you go. All of it is absolutely covered in... Uh, absolutely covered in in agricultural zoning so there we go we'll go up to like there as well uh yeah that's that's probably that's probably gonna be enough there we go so that's all building that'll keep people happy and give them places to work uh factory wise uh, still nothing but that's all right we do we do have the university now though right we did we did get this so what does it do i it reduces pollution. Okay, okay, okay. Let's let's do a university then. And I can do it. It it doesn't it doesn't go central. It doesn't go central on the road. Why does Why does every game do this? Why does it why, why does every game do this? <laughs> City Skylines does the same thing. Like it won't it, this isn't the middle of the road. You can see the, the dots there. It's always going to be off center. Why? Why? I swear it's just to annoy me. I swear they do this just to annoy me. Why? I want it to be central. I want it to be right in the middle because symmetry is amazing and I love it. <laughs> Man, that's not fair. That's not fair. I swear. I swear it's just to annoy me. Uh, I know it's not, but, you know, I can dream. Um, oh, man. How do I... <laughs> I can't even... I can't even really do anything to sort that, can I? Um, let me try something here for a second. Let me... Let me... Let me... What can I do? Um, let me do that. Let me do that. And then let me do um, that. Let me do that. And then can I connect those together? I can. Um, and then do this. And then uh, do all of this. And then do that and cut you. Can I then... It doesn't go at the end of the road. <laughs> Why? Why? The park does? No, it doesn't. Why does the park go at the end of that road? What do you mean? Why Why won't it do it? <laughs> it'll go there, won't it? Yeah, it'll go there. And the university will go there too. But that's central. But for some reason, it won't go there. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I was being really clever. I thought I was being clever. Okay. Um, right. Right, okay. Um, let's speed things up a little bit. Let's let's see if we can have some fun here. Um, so, uh, that, that would be the middle of the road, right? Can I, do, I can do it there, right? That's perfect. That's going to be our university. I don't know what kind of, I don't, I don't really know what it's going to do. I think it, like, this needs to be quite close to the university. But that is at least my sorry, my throat is like is 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 racked. You can probably hear it. Um that is at least like right on on the mark for being center of that road. So that's good. 
Uh, let's do this. So again, it's kind of nicely central. And uh, we can basically build like a like a university uh, campus type thing here, which will be pretty cool. So we'll go back a little bit further. We'll go like this. We'll go like that. We'll do that. And that's, that can be, you know, I don't know how big a university is necessarily going to be, but I think that'll be kind of cool. I'm also thinking bulldoze you and uh, to hell with it. We're going to put that thing, whatever it was, the nature museum right there. So it's nice and central across the road from the university. That seems like a pretty cool thing to do. Uh, Cause we could also extend those roads. And then if we get something else, such as, I don't know, we could do libraries. We could do libraries actually, let's do that. Let's do a couple of libraries. Let's do that and let's do that. And then let's throw, I don't know, small parks out there. Try to make the area all pleasant like, you know, turn it into something really, uh, really nice, which, uh, you know, that's not so bad either. Uh, although maybe we'll not do that. But yeah, so that can be like a university space. We've got a couple of libraries out here. Um, I think it looked a little better when we just had the libraries rather than the parks, but whatever. Um, I wonder, actually, could I do... Huh. If I did that and that and bulldoze you and you, could I do a little... No. Okay. What about that, that, and then we try the parks? I mean, they look a little... They're going to look a little bit weird, I think, like that, but kind of, a, again, a cool area, I guess. Just adds something to it, you know? Makes it a really pleasant space. Uh, so we've got basic dorms, do uh, dorm towers, and fancy dorms. If we build... Do we need to build two dorms or one dorm tower? Okay. So we are... These are quite expensive, aren't they? Oh, wow. These are huge. Um... I'm thinking probably, I think fancy dorms are going to be the way to go. Oh, basic dorms. Um, no. Maybe dorm towers? Dorm towers might be the way to go. I don't know if they'd be like right at the front of this though. Um, let me try and like cram them into the... Oh, they're not going to go in the corners, are they? <laughs> uh, they're not really going to go central. Okay, let's have some fun with this. Uh, dorm towers there. What have I done? Oh my god. Okay, um... We just got a bunch of... We need to specialize the university, apparently. Okay. Fair enough. Um, we're going to figure out what, what that means for it in just a second. Because I have more building I need to do here. So, I could put more dorm towers here, I think. I could put them at an angle, which would be kind of neat. We have a school of science, which we could place um, somewhere. We have a school of medicine which we could place as well. Um, I almost feel like it should be back there, to tell you the truth. So what about like a dorm tower there and there, bulldoze you. And then what do we want to specialize in? So business will drive growth in the area. Engineering provides prosperity. Education is more effective. That's kind of cool. Law is more effective medicine is health or crime is reduced prestige i'm thinking like science or like medicine 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 is the coolest building to be fair so that's kind of tempting oh i take that back law has a really cool building too engineering eh, a little bit more meh although engineering would probably fit with those towers a lot more wouldn't it so maybe let's do medicine let's do medicine that seems fair and what, have, what else have we got? We just got the library, safety center, student union, success center. Oh, my God. Okay, so... Wow, we've got a lot going on here. We have we have done a lot of things. Um, we can get a success center. We have a safety center. We have, again, just a lot, a lot of things, really, don't we? A lot of different things going on with the, uh, with the university here. Let's get a little road that goes to there and to there. Because what I think I could do is, yeah, we could put like university gardens there and there. What else have we just got? School of Behavioral... Why have we got so much? Thing? We have so much we can do with the university. <laughs> oh my God. There is so much that you can do with this university. It's nuts. This is like 
Oh no, I got rid of the thing. <laughs> ah, it's not what I wanted to do, is it? Okay, well, that needs to go back in there. Hold on a minute. Uh, what was it? it? Was the it was the it was the thing? It was the where is it? This. There we go. That seems fancy though, doesn't it? That seems that definitely seems fancy. What taxes have we got? Sales tax. Get that in there. There we go. Twenty dollars. Bring that up to be aggressive there as well. That's really cool though. Oh wow. Oh, my game is having a little trouble. Uh, that is really cool. Hopefully, we're gonna see like some crazy good uh development demand wise i mean it's there factories well they still don't exist do they but that's all right i guess oh man i university seems really cool but really hands-on <laughs> it really it's oh there's a there's a lot going on there um i wonder then i mean i guess we could do say that and then do that and then we could put more things out there so like a school of international affairs it sounds so oh it's too far away we can put it there though which isn't so bad so school of international affairs could go i don't know like right there i guess what else have we got we haven't have we got any success centers we don't also don't know if we can actually afford it uh what else do we got we got all like the the law we got the what have we got we had a student union we did what does it look like Oh, it's kind of cool. Sure, why not? We have a lot of money in our loan right now. There we go. So student union goes in there. All right. Well, I uh, I feel like that's pretty good progress thus far. We are not. We have so much money. Um, I don't know. I don't know where that is all coming from. I'm not gonna lie. If I bring that down, do we? Am I going to go broke if I do that? I'm not 100% sure. Looks like we are losing money. So bring that up there. Oh, yeah. No, we're back up. All right. I don't I don't know. I don't know how this works. I'm not going to lie. I have no idea. I do like that I can pin my income, though. That's nice. That's that's very nice. I do. I do enjoy that. So uh, I guess let's uh, leave the university. Uh, we'll do more education i guess we'll do more parks because pollution is definitely a major thing and then i guess we can hopefully get i don't know um <laughs> get more things all right that, that's that's what we're looking for right that's the goal is just more stuff and definitely less pollution so let me just like really quickly do this i was gonna wrap up the episode there on like the the more stuff line but i kind of want I kind of want the parks in here just to lower that pollution a little bit. There we go. So there we go. Pollution is like barely, it barely exists in the middle of the city, which is lovely. That's that's kind of what you want. That's cool, though. I like that a lot. I really do. Let's just let's get 50,000 people. We didn't get 50,000 people today, but that's OK. I feel like we've got a really cool university and that more than makes up for it. So there, there, you, that. Yeah, I'm. you know, we're getting the childish answer there me <laughs> thanks for watching it's 7 30 in the morning i've been awake for quite a while and i'll see you next time uh, bye bye